choosing the right IEM at the right price is never an easy task. If you are looking for the best possible IEM at $50, there are a lot of options. People still go to the blondes, those who want a bit more brand value, they go for the final audio IEMs. E2000, E3000, E2000 is the more balanced one, E3000 is the warmer and fuller sounding IEM. When we come up to the $100 price range, there are a lot of IEMs one can consider. The most balanced one is supposed to be the Etimotic ER2 SE and uh, Acoustics uh, R120. But people do not want a flat or a bit more boring sounding IEM when they pay $100. So the safest option that one can go for is an all-rounder IEM that can do it all. We all want variety of music in our collection. We listen to variety of stuff in our uh, moods. When the mood changes, the type of song changes. It's never easy to pick one IEM that can do it all. But here I have two IEMs in two different price ranges. Why, why, when you may ask why in two different price ranges? Because I find these two IEMs to be the top performers under their price brackets. S08 has to be one of the most capable IEM under $100. While the Adonis new is is one of the most complete performer I have heard under $200. You might say that, yeah, you are saying that this is the best performer at $100. This is the most complete performer at uh, $200, under $200. So yes, obviously the S08 is not a better IEM when compared to the Adonis new. But one need to keep in mind that price gap. It's $80. This one is $100. This one is $180. And if you look at the set of accessories, you will not feel that you are missing out on something. Okay. This one has a very good case. This one has a very good case too. We get a good cable with the S08, a bit loosely braided. You can say, come on, focus. Slightly loosely braided. Let me show you. Slightly loosely braided cable with the S08. And uh, this sounds good. No issues with it. Modular 2. If I didn't mention it, it is modular 2. So, no issues when it comes to the cable or setup accessories or anything. This one is slightly more premium looking cable and uh, modular too. Yeah, definitely this one is a bit more better and premium looking. No questions about that. But we barely buy an IEM for their accessories or anything. If it sounds fantastic, you barely need to care about the setup accessories or the case or anything like that. So what we are doing here is compare the sound quality of these two IEMs. But before we start, let me show you the build quality first. So this has a 13mm planar driver inside this metal shell and you guys can see it looks very good. No issues with the quality of build or anything like that. And the size too is not big or anything. So that is a great thing. Not huge in size that plays a part in it being very comfortable inside the ear. Let's compare it with the Adonis new. This one has one 9.2 mm dynamic driver and two BA drivers. The BA drivers are used for mid range and uh, highs. So, yeah, let me show you the comparison. This one is slightly semi custom, this one is not. But uh, if you look at the sizes, they are very similar. Both are very comfortable inside the ear. No issues when it come to, comes to comfort or anything. So that is a great thing. You guys can see. Very similar kind of uh, uh, weight even I can say. No, no. 
the Adonis New is a bit on the lighter side. This is a bit on the heavier side. So yeah, if you are not concerned about weight, both are very comfortable when it comes to uh, the feeling inside the ear. If we start with the base, there have been a few guys who are saying that this is a base head IM. I have been talking with a few and uh, maybe they are not that experienced when it come to come to the uh, audiophile industry maybe. But uh, yeah, Adonis New is not lacking base. What is a base head IM? Let me tell you what is a base head IM. Base head IM is a IM that does base with the biggest proportion possible. Okay, it pounds. It has a huge area of impact, and it it moves a lot of air. Why the Adonis New is not a base head IM is because it doesn't have that kind of whim or vigor that some base head IMs have. This one has very good sub bass rumble. It still is not the deepest. There are deeper sub bass rumble when you uh, look into ISN audio IMs. They have deeper sub bass rumble. This one is good, very good, very good sub bass rumble. Very good mid bass body too. Mid bass rumble and layered and delivery is very good with the Adonis new and what keeps it from being base head is the area of impact the area of impact is a bit more closed in it moves good amount of air it has the right amount of clarity uh, with the base but it is not unruly it does not lack the control it doesn't have that always present kind of base so this is a good basey im not a base head IM. It has the right amount of uh, technical abilities and dynamic abilities. It can hold the uh, lingering soft finishing of a base note. So yes, the dynamics and everything is great. And even though this is kind of a base IM, I will refrain from saying that it is a base head IM. It has the right amount of base. And I will tell you why it. I am not considering it as a base IM even. So if we move on to the Let Shore S08, this one is not exactly great when it comes to sub base. Okay, I will not say that it is bad or anything like that. But the sub base extension and sub base rumble are not great. This is a mid base IM. The mid base of the S08 is very good. Uh, it has very good clarity too with the uh, mid base. I like the area of impact. Area of impact is bigger than the uh, Adonis New. Okay, so yeah, that is a thing. Why Adonis New is not a base head IM? The base of Adonis New moves into the head, so it kind of feels like it is bigger. But the base of the S08 doesn't move into the head yet. It is good. No problem with that. It is a bit more faster, has a bit more uh, control when it comes to that uh, softer finishing of uh, the notes. It has the clarity too. I'm not complaining about clarity or anything at all, but it kind of slightly lacks with the weight behind the notes. So yeah, it is. it does not feel like a very bassy kind of IEM. It kind of has a better balance than the uh, Adonis New, but there are a couple of things why I am not calling it a more balanced IEM than this one is because this one is slightly V shaped. S08 is a bit more V shaped than the Adonis New, that is kind of baffling to a few, but I find the Adonis New to be more cleaner, more clearer, and more transparent with the mid range, with the vocals when compared to the S08. S08 is good. No problem with the tonality, timbre, or anything like that. It's slightly on the drier side, slightly dry when compared to this one. But Adonis New is more forward. It sounds more forward and it, it has the mid range clarity, the timber and everything is very good. No issues there. Very good control too. I like the uh, resolution, the extra bit of transparency here. So, yeah, very, very good 
high quality mid range with the adonis new the single ba driver that is assigned for uh, the mid range is from nolls and it is doing the work nicely very well tuned rem s08 is not not bad at all okay it is not bad at all when it comes to the mid range i like the uh, clarity the timber and everything is uh, good too but uh, it is not as resolving or as transparent or as clear or cleaner than the than the adonis new and another thing that sets the adonis new apart from the s08 is the reverb that extra bit of reverb that the adonis new has is not there with the s08 s08 is slightly less sonically capable not slightly less it is not as capable as the adonis new when it comes to sonic capabilities this one sounds a lot more engaging than the s08 if we move on to the treble that is where the biggest difference is planas can have very good treble performance but this one is very very good too it has very good balance very good clarity very good sparkle very good definition and resolution and it does not lose the energy even in the upper treble region which the s08 kind of lacks the upper treble of the s08 is not exactly that clean or clear or transparent as the adonis new so even though this one has good sparkle good clarity uh, good details up till the mid treble region it is not exactly winning any awards when i compare it with the adonis new this one has a custom ba driver from uh, kinera kinera or qoa you can say so yeah if you have the extra 80 dollars you get a bigger stage to better imaging better q placement a bit more cohesion and very good transient effects better transient effects than the s08 and the stage 2 is a lot more even okay you will not find any part of the stage to be a bit more busier or uh, muddy or anything in in the adonis new while the s08 can be slightly hollowish at at a couple of points which is uh, perfectly fine for a 100 dollar rem but when i compare it with the adonis new it kind of feels like it could have been a bit more better yet yet no doubts that s08 is a fantastic rem at 100 dollars but if you have the extra 80 and can handle a kind of forwardish sounding rem you should definitely consider the adonis new it has the bass it has the extension at both ends and it has the extra bit of clarity and resolution that we all enjoy i do not see anyone who wants overly smooth rems so yeah both are not overly smooth but this one is a bit less resolving as zero weight is a bit less resolving and less transparent than the adonis new so this is it guys this is my comparison of two fantastic fantastic rems at two different price ranges fantastic rem for 100 dollars fantastic rem for 200 dollars thank you for watching have a nice day enjoy